How's it going YouTube? This is 4 Star TCG, and today we are getting into our first of many XY Steam Siege uh, deck videos. The first deck we are going to be going over. I wanted to do a uh, Volcanion or Gardevoir, but I still haven't had all the trades go through yet to uh, get those cards. So those are probably going to be coming in the next couple days. But our first deck that we are going to be going over is Pyroar Break. Now this is not the uh, this is not <laughs> the premier card from Steam Siege or anything like that, but it's a really fun deck that I absolutely love playing. Uh, there's really two options with this deck: is that we either destroy the opponent, they're playing EXs basics, and we just rip through them, and there's nothing they can do, or we get tossed on our neck, and they're like they're playing Greninja or something. Um, this deck loses pretty badly to Greninja. <laughs> I was able to beat it once because I got set up quicker, uh, and there are a couple techs in this deck that help out a lot. Uh, there, there are a lot of options with this deck, uh, and it's really only going to be good until uh, September 1st when the rotation goes, and after that we lose Blacksmith, uh, we lose Intimidating Main Pyroar. So there's really no point in playing this deck after, uh, after rotation, so I wanted to get it in now. So, just this is our main uh, lineup of attackers. We got four Litleo, uh, three with 60 HP and Roar, um, one with 70 HP and Combustion. Uh, really, only the point of having the more HP Litleo is just if your opponent's hitting 60 um, and you want to get that out. It's There's really no other point. Uh, Roar is probably a good attack. You switch. Switch your, uh, you have your opponent switch uh, their active Pokemon to their bench Pokemon, very simple. We run three Intimidating Main Pyroar. Uh, this was a very big card back in uh, the beginning of the XY era. Intimidating Main, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's basic Pokemon. Uh, so that includes EX cards. Uh, that's really EX cards, any sort of like Raikou, something like that. Uh, basically any basic Pokemon that's not evolved can't touch Pyroar. We also play one Flare Command Pyroar. This is so clutch. Um, I tried playing this deck list without it and it's just, it doesn't nearly run as good. Uh, Flare Command. I can't click, I wish I could click on the cards, uh, but since I'm doing this on my laptop, that's not a, uh, that's not really working if I click on it it removes it from the deck which really stinks so flare command if you discard an energy from this Pokemon you can switch your opponent's active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon so basically you discard a fire energy and it's a Lysander you get to pick which Pokemon you bring up and that's really really uh, really good because of Pyroar break and what you hit with Pyroar break Pyroar Break, uh, that's the main attacker in this deck, 160 HP. Kaiser Tackle, that's the uh, attack, does 180 damage, and this Pokemon does 50 damage to itself. Now that's really not good, 50 damage to itself, uh, 180 Oko ZXs. But other than that, uh, the 50 damage brings you down to 110 HP, which is easy easy pickings for a lot of, uh, a lot of Pokemon. We play one Battle Compressor. Uh, this is uh, something that uh, I thought about running too, but when we have stuff like uh, like Ultra Ball, we got Scorched Earth, we play three Scorched Earth. Uh, discarding stuff really isn't that big of a deal. One Escape Rope, uh, we play no Float Stones, and Pyro has a two retreat cost. Uh, Entei has a two retreat cost. Uh, I just play, I don't think I went over the Entei. One Entei, just sort of a... Uh, Good attacker combat, combat blaze, 20 plus, uh, 20 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It's a pretty good attack, 120 HP. It's just a solid uh, backup attacker if you're not able to get these out quickly. And two Shaman EX for consistency. Uh, we play one Escape Rope, switch out of the active, force your opponent to do the same. Uh, one Evo Soda, this helps to just evolve easier. Three Max Elixir, uh, I'm on the fence about playing this card, it really helps because Kaiser Tackle uh, and basically any attacks that you're going to want to be using, Scorching Fang or Kaiser Tackle, uh, Combat Blaze, they all not, not, they all require two plus energy, two or three energy, um, 
So Max Elixir just helps that speed up. We play one copy of Sacred Ash. If our Pokemon get knocked out, we shuffle them back into the uh, deck. One copy of Switch. Easy to switch as our retreat cost is pretty high. We got four copies of Trainer's Mail. Uh, this is really helpful because we play a lot of very important trainers in this deck uh, that they're really important to get out. Four Ultra Balls, just search out our Pokemon, a staple. Four VS Seeker, another staple. We play two Blacksmith, uh, attach two Fire Energy from your discard pile to one of your Fire Pokemon. Again, this po this powers up Entei, this powers up Pyro. You can get uh, Kaiser Tackle powered up in one turn if you attach and Blacksmith. Uh, so that's, uh, that's really good. One Lysander. Um, even with Flare Command Pyroar, Lysander is extremely helpful. Sometimes this will be prized and you'll need to pick something off. Lysander is perfect. Uh, 2N. I, we really don't have space in this deck for more N. Um, and you're really often going to want to be discarding stuff. Because you want to be discarding your supporters, discarding energy, stuff like that. Uh, discarding stuff that doesn't work for you and Sycamore is really good for that. We got one of the new full art Sycamores uh, and three of the regular ones so we'll play four of those. One Wally, three Scorched Earth just to discard and get some more draw power. We play one Muscle Band which is really only for Entei uh, or if we are running up against Zygarde. I played it without Muscle Band and we went up against stuff like Zygarde and uh, even some mega decks and stuff where Kaiser Tackle won't knock it out. So if you're playing against Zygarde, this Muscle Band is extremely important. Fighting is a big deck in the format now. Three copies of Protection Cube, really important. Uh, prevent all damage done to the Pokemon that this card is attached to by attacks it uses. So that completely negates the 50 damage that uh, Kaiser Tackle does to yourself. So now you're knocking out EXs basically... Uh, in one shot, no drawbacks. And we play 9 Fire Energy. Pretty simple there. Uh, we can Max Elixir, we can Discard, we can Blacksmith. There's so many ways we can play around with these Fire Energy. So that's the deck. Now we'll get a couple matches here. Um, we'll see what we get up against first. Hopefully it's a good matchup. We got Grass, Fighting, Steel, Colorless. Is this Zygarde Vileplume? Might be. So we win the coin flip and we will go first. This is really, going first is really important. Um, no basics. Going first is really important with this deck because you can, uh, no, normally your opponent isn't going to be able to hit 60 damage on their first turn. So if you can get out a Pyro turn two, uh, that's really good. Or if you can get it out turn one with Wally. As we get a Shaman start, that's, Shaman starts are really bad with this deck. Um, they buy you a little time, but I'm sure we'll see Zygarde Vileplume here. I don't know what the steel is. Um, yep, the uh, Jirachi, okay. Okay, let's uh, hit the Scorched Earth just in case we end up drawing any uh, fire energy or something. Uh, I don't want to grab the Blacksmith. Actually, I could, and then Ultra Ball that away. Yeah, that works, and then have a Blacksmith in the discard pile. So we will Ultra Ball, and we got an Escape Rope, a Blacksmith and a Scorched Earth. Uh, we have no way to draw, which really stinks. So I'm going to grab our other Shaman, just because I want three more cards. I don't feel comfortable with this hand. Uh, that's somewhat better. We can Scorched Earth this energy away and draw some more cards. I need a Litleo or something. Uh, we don't get it. No Ultra Ball. I really don't want to Sycamore all this away. I really don't. But I honestly don't think I have another choice, to be honest. So basically, yeah, so now, now we get everything we need. Here are some Litleos. Awesome. Uh, throw down a fire energy, throw down the max elixir. Uh, yeah, and that's going to end our turn. Uh, I hate to have to sycamore all of that stuff away. We lost a protection cube, an escape rope, uh, could have helped us get out of the active. Um, we do have one fire energy in the discard. 
It would be nice to pull another off. We see a sycamore for my opponent too, discarding some shamans and some energies. Uh, yeah. If this is Zygarde Vileplume, it's going to be very difficult for uh, my opponent to hit me. There's Carbink Break. Interesting. Yep, there's the Zygarde. Predicted the deck correctly. That's nice. I'm glad that it's like a competitive deck and you're not seeing something weird uh, for these matchups. And my opponent's going to Shaman. Forest of Giant Plants. We've got a perfect hand and no Vile Plume. That's wonderful. Uh, I'm going to Max Elixir first. Wonderful. And now we will Sycamore. Yeah. I was thinking of blacksmithing, but. Um, Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting so many compliments on my Sycamore. Uh, no, Protection Cube here. Do we have any? Yeah, we should Sacred Ash right about now. And we'll get back the Pyroar Break and the Pyroar. And I don't, I can't really Ultra Ball for anything. Yeah, I don't want to ultra, I'll, I'll ultra Ball next turn. Um, how many Fire Energy? Only one. We'll just respond here. Smiley face. So we've almost got a Pyro Break. Unless he ends us, we'll have a Pyro Break next turn. We can attach, retreat. Hopefully we'll grab out the... Uh, it would be nice to grab the Flare Command Pyro too. I have to say. Because um, then we can get out these Shamans, the Zygarde. Um, it's going to Diamond Gift for 20. We don't play any AZ in this deck. Awesome. There is our Flare Command Pyro, which we are going to play. Um, I think we're just VS Seeker for Sycamore here. Of course, get our nice Sycamore and play that. No switch. Um, yeah, I'm content to just knock out this. Uh, I'm c totally content to knock out this Carbink. Unless he has a hex, he can't get through us and he doesn't have any strong energy yeah he's gonna send out the oddish hopefully I can flare command would I flare command this because that takes a two shot and I we don't have our muscle band I might just take out the shaman hex maniac prized GG well played yeah, this this deck uh, this deck gets a lot of forfeits, and there we go. Um, even if he did get his hex, he could only hit 100 with Zygarde. He'd need a lot more uh, strong energy to do that. Um, yeah, so even if he could, he'd need to hit that hex multiple times. Uh, and we had our Flare Command Pyro setting up there. So we'll play again. Hopefully I'll get uh, at least three matches for you today. This looks like maybe Darkrai, Giratina, Garbodor. Uh, Garbodor is annoying for us. I've played against this deck in the past. What I did was I flare commanded out the Trubbish and knocked that out. That's usually the main priority because without their Garbodor, they can't hit you. Um, We lost a coin flip. A little annoying, but not terrible. And 
And what's our hand looking like? Hmm. Not the best. I wish we had an N instead of a sycamore there. But it could it could be painful to sycamore all this away. I have to say. Hurry up to my opponent. Come on. And yeah, we're done. So we see Eveltal. There's nothing I can do. I got a Sycamore. I hate this, but I can't because he can charge this up in one turn. Uh, this does nothing for me. Scorched Earth. I mean, <laughs> sometimes this deck is clunky. This is one of those times. If only you could rare candy into Power or Break. Then we just. If this was a rare candy and you could rare candy into Power or Break. Bang. Good game. So there's the Darkness Energy. Fighting Fury Belt. Yeah, Fighting Fury Belt is annoying to this deck. Um, he Ultra Balls away the Gar- Why don't you Ultra Ball away the Garbodor? Do you know this is Pyroar? Do you know this is Pyroar? Hmm. <laughs> Gets out the Hoopa. If I can get, if I can draw the Pyro, draw an Ultra Ball, draw something. An N. Yeah, he's gonna get Darkrai Shaman and Giratina. This is the Darkrai Giratina deck. Um, I personally believe Darkrai is now severely outclassed by Xerneas Break. Um, you do have to evolve, you have less HP, you do 20 less damage but you only give up one prize card and you get access to all of the fairy support. You get fairy garden, um, I mean Aromatisse is rotating out, but it's, it's basically the same deck archetype. Um, yeah, it just doesn't, I mean, this is all just complete fodder for us. He's gonna hex, so what, I can't play shamans? Okay. Um, we get the Lysander, that's not really... I'm gonna Scorched Earth here. Uh, yeah, he hexed. I don't know why it's showing that my Shaman's ability can't be used. I'm gonna Sacred Ash back in my Pyroar. Um, I can Lysander out the Hoopa. Or I can blacksmith. He's just gonna knock me out next turn if I blacksmith. So I'm gonna Lysander out the Hoopa. Um, do I want to play the Shaman? No. I mean, I know I know I wouldn't get the cards, but I thought if he somehow manages to switch out of the active. But that's either going to require a float stone. Uh, yeah, and he's attaching down here. I wonder if he has the float stone. Nope, he's just going to pass. Uh, there's the sycamore. That's nice. Uh, I'm going to shaman here for what? One card? Yep, it's a battle compressor. Uh, no point in. No point in... Yeah, I, I need Pyroars. I really need Pyroars. Really pains me to do this, but I have to Sycamore again. Get rid of all that stuff. There's everything. <laughs> Thank you. Um, little trainer mail. 
Wally. Gold. Um, do I want a Scorched Earth or do I want to... How many energy do I have in the discard? Two. I'll Scorched Earth. Hopefully we'll grab another energy. We don't. Um, we've got Pyro Break. And then hopefully we can Ultra Ball, find another Shaman, find something. Uh, let's... Should we do that now? Yeah, let's do that now. Grab another Shaman. Yeah, another Litleo. Trainer Mail. Uh, I guess I'll grab the Switch. And end my turn. We got Pyro Break next turn. We got two more Pyroars. Um, I think Flare Command is going to be really useful in this match, so I don't think I'll evolve both of them. Because I know I have my Flare Command Pyro in there. He's going to attach to the Giratina. And pass. He's got no way to get out of the, uh, get out of the active here. Ooh, VS Seeker for Blacksmith and just start killing things? I think so. I think so. We have the end for next turn. And we'll just kill this. 180. Sycamore and Entei. Yeah, that might be useful. We've used our Sacred Ash, yeah. Out comes the Shaman. If we can get that Flare Command Pyro out and an Energy, I think we'll Sycamore next turn. Uh, we'll put down the Entei and then we'll Sycamore. So he's going to Ultra Ball here. Probably take out the Giratina or the Darkrai. It's gonna get out the Trubbish. Floatstone onto the Trubbish. He can shut down my abilities next turn. Ooh, do I want the Entei or the Litleo? I'm gonna Sycamore anyway. take the it hates me to pains me to do all this but we got that ultra ball that goes down here protection cube here pyro break ultra ball sycamore and scorched earth we have the vs seeker for next turn Grab our Flare Command Pyro. We only have nine cards left in the deck. That's a little painful. But we are going to Flare Command. And I'm sorry. Uh, this is always my priority when I play up against decks like this. Bye bye, Trubbish. Only eight cards left in the deck. But. I mean, if you don't have a hex, if you don't have something, I can just continue to swing for knockouts. And there we go, there's the forfeit. Awesome. Pyro Break taking down two top tier decks in uh, Darkrai Giratina Garbodor and uh, Zygarde Vileplume. We'll get one last match. I think three is a good even number. Even if we lose this one, I'm, I'm happy with... Oh, we're... <laughs> I wonder if this is a, either a mirror match or Volcanion, uh, Volcanion EX, Volcanion. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But we just got two great matches. So very happy with that. No basics.
So we'll wait while the opponent chooses their active. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. We ain't got all day. All right. Two Pokemon on the bench. There go their prizes, and we will mulligan. Nothing. You don't mulligan too often, but when we do, it's like three, like this. Uh, there's a Litleo. Scorched Earth, an Energy, Sycamore, Pyro Break. Our opening hand's looking pretty good. We'll see what my opponent is playing. Like I said, we'll see what my opponent is playing. <laughs> I don't know, maybe TCGO is a little slow today. I've ended my turn. My timer's not going. Alright, come on. I wonder if TCGO is going to kick us off. That would really stink. Uh, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, his timer's counting down here. I haven't seen anything from him yet. Um... Okay, he's drawing his mulligans. Alright, there we go. I don't know why it took him so long. Alright, Flareon. Okay, Flareon. Okay, Flareon, Flareon, Flareon. Nice. Um, we'll Scorched Earth. We'll Trainer Mail. For Max Elixir. We're gonna escape rope here. I, yeah, Litli Pyro is my main attacker in this deck. Yeah, my opponent's just gonna switch out, but I want my Litli out of the active. Um, we'll throw down the energy here. I really don't want a Sycamore. I'll Sycamore next turn. Um, my opponent won't be really won't be able to attack this turn. Hopefully then we'll Evo Soda into Pyroar. Um, this is another deck that struggles against Pyroar Break. Um, unless you've got Hex and stuff. But again, the idea with Pyro is that if, even if you can hit that Hex once, you gotta hit it multiple times. Uh, gotta hit 160 to begin with. But I mean, there's the Blacksmith. <laughs> this probably might be knocking out my... Uh, Entei. I think you hit 110 with 3. What, 20, 40, 60? Yeah, 110. So unless we get a Muscle Band, Max Elixir Energy Switch, or something like that, my Entei will be living. But yeah, this Flareon deck is incredibly fast. Yep, there's a Max Elixir and a Flash Fire. And my Entei's going down. But we do have the Evo Soda. We'll be able to evolve into Pyroar Break. Or not Pyro Break, Pyroar, just to start off. Um, we have to Sycamore here, there's really no choice. We gotta get, we're gonna lose the uh, Pyroar Break, but man. Scorched Earth, get rid of that. There's a Sycamore and a VS Seeker. Um, yeah, I really don't want to. I want to throw down Muscle Band or something. No, not yet. Yeah, we'll just we'll just end the turn. Um, he's got to have a hex. He's got to have a hex. I mean, if he does, he basically wins. But we'll see. We shall see. Because if we next turn yeah and it doesn't look like my opponent has it 
Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, and he recognizes that this could be dangerous. As he flash fires away, he's gonna lie. Ah, oh, yeah, Lysander has the loot, Leo. Get rid of that. But hopefully we will be. What is this flame ball? Yeah. All right. Um. I mean a shaman here for one just to get these cards out of my hand there's the protection cube that's wonderful I'm gonna throw down a muscle band and then I'm gonna shaman again I hate to have all these shamans in my hand um, we got the wally do we wally into pyro break I think that's just the best bet here we only got one pyro break left man yeah, so one must be prized. So you better find that sacred ash pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, and we'll Kaiser tackle. Alright, let's go. There we go, 180. Bye bye Flareon. There's our other Pyro break, but we don't have any Litleos out. How many Litleos are in the discard? Just one. Two are here. Fighting Fury Belt, that's going to be difficult. But if he can't get around this, then... There's enough Pokemon in play for him to Versus Seeker Lysander out all this. And he's going to have to do that. Um... Not sure if he's got it this turn. Or if he's just trying to power it up. Yep, VS Seeker, Lysander, yep. So my Shaman's gonna go down. I mean, I had to play, then there's really... No way that I could get around it. And there's no way for me to... So, I mean, if he has a VS Seeker, he wins. That's pretty much it. Um... There's our Sacred Ash. Is our Lysander in the discard? No. So we'll play the Sacred Ash. We'll get back Shaman, Entei, Pyro Break, and Litleo. Shuffle all those cards back into the deck. Um, is there anything we can VS Seeker for here? We haven't played an N. That's <laughs> a little crazy. We're going to lose a lot, but I mean, I'm just thinking like what's the best way to go about this? I can blacksmith onto the shaman, retreat, sky return, he's got a hex, he's got no way of hitting me. I'm doing that. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm bad. You can only attach to fire Pokemon. Well, what the heck. Just for the heck of it. Um, and we will Kaiser Tackle. Load up this Pyro with energy. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a bad play. Bad play by me. Um... Yeah. So VS Seeker for game, that's pretty much it. Or Hex for game. I mean, he's got it. If it's... I'm, pr I'm pretty sure he's got it. I'm pretty sure. You know? He wouldn't be doing all this if he didn't. Energy switch. Man, there's probably, we're gonna see a Hex. I know we are. Reverse, yeah, for Lysander for game. Alright, I don't know why you powered your Flareon up that much. Just to like... Yeah. It, it, it always annoys me when people have the game, but then they just like... mess around with stuff and make it like extra humiliating. Like if I have the game, I'll just end it. 
because uh, like there's no point in making your opponent wait if you've got the game and you know you have the game. Uh, like that's pretty obviously 110 damage right there. <laughs> but pretty pretty well overall. Uh, I feel like that game was pretty competitive. Uh, it's just my opponent hit the triple VS seeker for Lysander and was able to uh, run away with it. But we were able to defeat two top tier decks in Zygarde Vileplume and uh, Dark Ride Giratina Garbodor. So I'm feeling pretty good about that our uh, Rogue Pyro Break deck was able to do that. So thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll have lots more Steam Siege coming out very soon. So stay tuned for that.